Hello, um, this is David Mandel, and um, this is uh, week one of our course on um, um, Linux installation and configuration, or just simply Linux systems administration. And um, we'll just discuss the material here for week one. Uh, first thing, let's go into desire to learn, um, as I am right here. Let's go to the content tab, which is here. And under the content tab, we can look <clears throat> at week one. Week one is divided into two chapters, chapter one and chapter two. Uh, I believe it's the only week we have this term that has two chapters. Since there is a lab per chapter, that means you'll have two labs due this week. Um, don't feel too bad about this. These two labs are tightly tied together and, you know, give short answers to lab one. Don't do anything elaborate. Actually, lab two probably doesn't need to be that elaborate, but it does need to be a little bit better write up. What lab one is, is it says, go out, get a Linux distribution, um, you know, um, and lab two says, install your Linux distribution. So uh, lab two is really where all the work is, although lab one, if you get a Linux distribution over the internet and it's a big one, like say OpenSUSE or Fedora, uh, the download time can be, well, it can be enormous depending on your bandwidth. Um, the other way to get a distribution or the one of the things you should do to get a distribution is telephone me. Telephone me in person and um, I'll tell you where you can either pick one up or I'll mail one to you or something. And I will send you a copy of the latest um, SUS, open SUS distribution, uh, um, SUS 11.4 and also a copy of a very, very recent uh, version of Nopix. Um, that will be Nopix 6.5. It's not the newest one out, but it is sort of a special distribution that had very limited distribution that has Flash installed and a number of things installed. So you will be able to um, use it with YouTube and um, videos and some other things that the, um, it, I th believe it also has a few extra uh, um, video drivers that makes it work on some machines that the stock version does not work on. So um, I do recommend you get that from me. Okay. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, desire to learn area here. Of course, there are the online meetings. You can read the little blurb on online meetings here, which basically says there's an online meeting from 6 to 8 p.m. on Monday evening. That's every Monday evening, unless there's a, um, an official holiday. And likewise, there's an online meeting from 6 to 8 p.m. on Friday, unless there's an official holiday. Um, these meetings are optional. Um, the one on Friday is more oriented towards going over things in general. I'm sorry, the one on Monday is more oriented towards going over um, the material for the week. And the one on Friday, after you've had time to look at the material is more oriented towards answering your questions. Back to content. Down here you will see a lot of instructor resources and that once again those are kind of optional. They're mostly material that I use in preparing things and they are really written for me and um, but there's nothing hidden or secret about them and you may find some of them to be useful or you may not. Um, you know, whether you look at those or not is totally up to you. Um, if I was you, I probably wouldn't look at them a whole lot because I think the really important thing to do when you're trying to learn Linux or Unix 
or trigonometry or algebra or uh, a foreign language is to use it and to do um, and to do projects. That's why the labs are so important um, and the reading while it's important it's less important. Um, the only way you can learn anything is by doing it. I'm a firm believer in that. That's basically why the apprenticeship programs and things that we used to use to train people work so well. Um, I um, Okay, <clears throat> with that, I believe we finished everything that I really need to talk to about. Oh, there is one final thing. It, when you finish the labs, it um, is highly, highly recommended that you print public, that as well as sending a copy to me through the normal Dropbox system, that you go to discussions, go down to where it says lab one, and or lab whatever, and submit your lab to the rest of the class through that process. That way other people can see what you're doing. You can see what other people are doing and comment on it. And uh, please comment uh, tactfully. Uh, we're trying to help one another, not intimidate uh, each other. And um, um, But make your comments with that goal in mind. OK. With that, I believe we have finished um, the introduction for this week's material. The actual material will be under the various chapters. And um, this is loading very slowly. Um, there we go. OK. Goodbye. <laughs>